Up until this point, we've kind of played with the ideas of a to-do app, but we never actually built a to-do app. So I thought it'd be cool if we actually used all the things that we've learned so far and tied them in together to build a to-do app using Vuke's ORM. And then you can sort of see what it's like using Vuke's ORM in different components and get a feel for how the flow is and what it's like to import classes and all that sort of good stuff. So first thing we're going to do is clear just about everything here. I'm going to come down. Don't need any of that, at least not for now. We're just going to use the user. Uh, that all looks fine to me. Before mount, we're going to insert the user, but we're not going to insert any list items because in the to-do app, we're going to do that ourselves. We'll probably keep that computed property, uh, get rid of items there, and get rid of this add item method, and then remove all of this under here. Cool. All right, now we're also going to take the relationship that we have here for users and lists and bring that back to how it was originally. So instead of a has many by relationship, we're going to make this a has many relationships. So a user has many lists and on the list, it's going to look for the user ID. So now we can get rid of this. We can jump into list.js. And this has many, uh, here we go. So the user belongs to a user by the user ID. That's all already set up and ready for us to go. So that relationship makes sense. Let's go back to app.view and scroll down a little bit more. Good, okay, so I'm happy with that. That's all set and ready to go. Next, we want to build the list component. So we're going to have a separate component for our list. So let's build a new folder in our source directory called components and create a new file in there called list.view. And I've got a little template here that helps me get started quickly. Now we're going to say export default, and then we'll have props, and we're going to need a list for this component, and that's going to be required. Now, another cool thing we can do now that we're using Vuke's ORM is we can actually check that this property is exactly what we need it to be, which makes our app a little bit safer. So we can say type is equal to list. Actually, let me type that again, so then I have the chance to import it. There we go. And we're all set to start building our component. Let's get rid of the style tags down here. Create a div to wrap everything in, and we'll give it a h2, and we'll put the list title in there, list dot title. Cool. And then underneath that, we'll have an unordered list with all the items. Actually, we won't even worry about that yet. The only thing we want to do is display the list title. So a really basic component. So now let's actually use this component in app.view. So I'm going to go import and we'll say list component. Now, the reason I'm saying list component here is because later on, we're going to want to import list from classes slash list. And if we want to use that, then we're going to have a clash if they both have the same name. So let me just get rid of that for now. We'll import list component from dot slash components slash list. And now let's actually use that component. List component, sweet. And we should be all set and ready to actually use this component. So let's run the server, yarn, serve. While that's going, we'll say list. And then we'll say v-4 equals list in users.list and give it a key, which will be equal to the list ID. Okay, so remember, we're pulling in here the user and we're doing a query and we're saying we want this user with the lists and all of the lists items, okay? And we're going to find the user with an ID of 28. So I'm just hard coding the user here for now, just to keep things simple. All right, so let's scroll up and that all looks good. And we have to actually pass through the list as well. So the list is equal to the current list. Save that, I'm sure something's wrong. So let's refresh it and see what's happened. Property or method users is not defined on the instance. Ah, so this should be user, not users. All right, so let's refresh the page and it's working. However, we don't have any lists yet. So let's have a button now that'll allow us to add a list. Button, and that button's going to say add list. 
we're going to need a form as well. So let's say input, and that's going to model. Let's have a form sitting on here, and we'll say form.title. Okay, so I'm just going to go to my data here, change that from body to title, save that, refresh the page. Good, it looks like that's all working. Now we need to make it so the button actually does something. Let's go back to our code. When you click on this button, add list. So let's go ahead and build that method. I'm going to scroll down here to our methods, add list. And now this is the great part. This is where we get to see the power of Vuke's ORM. Every time I write this sort of code, I get so excited. So we're going to say list, import that, dot insert, and the data for that is this dot form. Simple as that. Isn't that just beautiful? I know I keep saying this, but I love it. So refresh the page, shopping, add that to the list. Now that's not currently working. So let's just quickly look in the store to do some troubleshooting here. Looks like it is being added. So I think I know the problem. And the problem is the list doesn't actually know about the user yet. Yeah. So a list has a title but it also needs a user ID. And remember, we're hard coding the user here, so I know that the ID is 28. Okay, so let's have that user ID set to 28, refresh the page, put in shopping, and it's still not working. And I believe that's because of the way I'm displaying it here. Ah, this actually does have an S, user.list. All right, so let's refresh the page, add shopping, Okay, and we have one last error. That's what I love about this. You guys can actually see that. I make a lot of errors in my code and it's totally fine. You can just troubleshoot it. So the reason is we didn't actually give this a name of list. Okay, so list is equal to the list component which we're importing up here. Okay, and there we go, it's working now. So let's refresh the page, add shopping, something else like to do. And it's working, so now we can add lists. Last thing we want to do is make it so we can add items as well. That would be cool. So let's go into our components, list.view, and we're going to start off with a button. So we want to have a button which is going to add the item. And actually, before that, we'll also need an input as well. So this is where we're going to put the name of the item. So maybe we can say v-model is equal to form body because I think the item has a body. Yes, that's correct. Okay, so we're modeling the form.body. We'll have to put that onto our component. Data, return an object, a form, which is going to have a body equal to an empty string to begin with. Awesome. Okay, so now we've got the button. And when we click this button, we're going to add an item. And we'll put in the text here, add item. Now let's actually build that method. Methods, add item. Awesome, let's start off with the console.log just to check that everything is working. Refresh the page, shopping, add that, something random, and yes, we do get test. Okay, cool. So now let's actually add an item to the list. And in order to do that, we're going to have to import the item. So let's copy this down, change that to item. And then I'll come down here and we'll say item.insert. And we're going to give that some data, which will be this dot body. And we'll also want to make sure that the item knows what list it belongs to. So here, rather than just body, I'm also going to say list ID. And we're just going to set that to this.list.id. So the list is passed through to this component. Its ID is set to list ID within the form. So every single time you add an item, it's got the correct list ID there. Okay, so let's save that. So this is how I usually go about retrieving the items. Usually, I will create another version of list called filled list. Okay, I'll show you what that looks like. Computed. There's a few ways you can do this. This is how I like to do it. Uh, and we're going to have field list. 
And this is basically a list with everything that I need sitting inside it. So we'll say return list dot uh, query. And we want this list with the items. And then we're going to find the list with this dot list dot ID. So basically, we're just grabbing this list again. However, this list is going to be filled with everything we need. So maybe later on, the list is going to have something else. And then we can say with other thing or something like that. Yeah. So I like to have the field list as a separate computed property. And it means that we can now go up here and we can display all of our items like this. Unordered list. And we can say list item. And then we can say v dash four field list dot items key is equal to oh we need to say <laughs> item in field list dot items the key will be equal to the item id and then let's just spit out the text so v dash text will be equal to item dot body all right so we've written a lot there chances are something's going to go wrong but let's have a look and see what happens so shopping and let's add an item called banana. All right, so cannot convert undefined or null. And the reason we're getting that is because I said this dot body instead of this dot form. Ugh, I can be silly sometimes. All right, so let's go back and refresh the page. Shopping, add that. And on the shopping list, let's have a banana. And it works. Cherry. That works. Let's see if we can add another list. Friends, uh, Ben, Adam. And it works. How awesome is that? So let's do a quick revision of what we did in this video. Here we have an input that is modeling a form with a title. And remember inside that form, we also have the user ID. And when we click on add list, if we come down here, there's the method, and we've got that beautiful API that Vux ORM gives us where we're just inserting the data inside the form. So that will add a list, and because here where we're grabbing the users, we're grabbing it with the lists and the items, then if we scroll up here, we're displaying all the lists by going through the user's lists. And now if we go into that component, we're passing through the list there. Let's jump into the component. Oh, that's not the component. <laughs> here it is here. And you'll notice that if I go to props, this is where we're accepting that list. And we're also checking that it is actually a list class. We're making sure that it's implementing this class over here. Okay, so if it is, that's fantastic. We're creating a computed property here called field lists because we want to pull in all the items. And the cool thing about this is if a list is passed through here, but it isn't passed through with the items, it's still going to work. So I usually like to follow this pattern here. It just means that this component can move around the application more easily. Now, if we scroll down here, we're putting the list ID into the form by default, because if you think about it, every item that we insert is going to belong to this list, which is why we can hard code that in there. Okay, so we come down here to add the item, we simply say item.insert once again, <laughs> that beautiful API that Vux ORM gives us. So let's scroll up to the top and then we're just spitting out all of the list items there. And here's our functionality to actually add the items to the list. Actually, before we finish, why don't we make it so you can delete an item as well because it's surprisingly easy to do. So let's open this bad boy up. We're gonna grab what's in there and spit it out there. And now we're gonna have a button for deleting an item. So let's say delete item like that and at click will equal delete item. Now I'm predicting a problem that's going to happen. Uh, currently an item doesn't have an ID, but that is so easily fixed. If we go to our item class, we scroll up, oh, scroll down. See, instead of saying this adder, we can say this dot increment and that will automatically increment the ID. We can get rid of null there now. Okay, so now it's going to have an ID assigned to it by Vux ORM, so we can delete it. So when this button is clicked, we're going to call a method called delete item. That word's a bit redundant, isn't it? So let's scroll down now. 
delete item and that's going to accept the item. Now, did I accept the item? Did I pass the item through? Uh, no, I didn't. So let's make sure we pass that through. So we actually know what we're deleting. Awesome. So back down here, delete item and we can simply say item.delete. And then we're going to say where and then item dot ID. And you can actually pass through a function here and do like a whole bunch of fancy stuff. But for now, we're just gonna pass through the item ID, save that, refresh the page, shopping, banana, fish. Now if we delete that, it works. How easy is that? How amazing is this beautiful API? I can't wait to dig even deeper into this with you. So keep watching and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao for now.